Ah, switch sides made you look. Third one, okay. Um, so tiny little beaker, just with distilled water, ordinary paper towel, and then I've got my little clamp. Um, and what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna dip this paper towel um, into the water and let's see what happens. I want it to just barely touch. See if I can get this back just so it's touching, but not really. There we go, that's better. So it's rolling, but not really. Yeah, it's wanting to cling. There we go. Back on track. Not that I would ever tell you guys to do this to any of me, like my classes, but you might want to fast forward this to about the five minute mark. I'm gonna let this go just for a few minutes, okay, guys? What's worth noting is that if you take your eye away, that you can almost make believe that it's going to stop. And then you come back and it gets just a little higher and just a little bit higher. So we're coming in at about three and a half minutes. Um, because it would be like watching paint dry, I'm going to shut this down at the five minute mark. About 35 more seconds. Go! Oh. And 
And if you notice that even when I said that I was going to stop from the point when I said I was going to stop the video, it's still creeping along. So this is important for the biology class. You might want to speculate as to why the water is getting pulled along. This is also important for those of you that are going to be taking my AP chemistry class. Um, what's going on here also gets used in that class as well. So think about why, even though that water is bare, like the paper towel is barely dipped into the top of the water. I mean, if it weren't really immersed in there, I wouldn't be able to blow on it and have it really do anything. Why has the water been able to get so far up the paper towel? All right, back in a little bit.